So here we're given these two conditions that f of x is when it's divided by x minus 3 remainder is 5. And we're told that it's a linear function. So we know that it has this form ax plus b. And this means that the quotient here is going to be some number. So that's what this means, divided by x minus 3, uh, remainder is 5. That means that if I replace x with 3, notice that this piece is going to become 0. f of 3 is 5. That's what this really means. Same thing with the other condition, when f of x is divided by x minus 4, would be some other quotient plus a remainder of 3, which means that f of 4 is equal to 3. We have two values of the function here. I can find the entire function because I can start with the slope. Difference in the y values, 3 and 5, over the x values, 4 and 3. So the slope is minus 2, which means that the form is minus 2x plus b. Now, I have a value. I can use either one, f of 4, meaning if I replace x with 4, is equal to 3. If you solve this, you get b is equal to 11. And they're asking for f of 0, which is really the y-intercept, or b, because when x is 0, f of 0 is b, and that's exactly what we need, which is answer choice d.